Oh, hi! Welcome to my garage. Today I will be unboxing and assembling the MFJ1835 Hotel. This antenna is the high power version of it. Okay, there's a few YouTube videos already on YouTube about this antenna, but MFJ wanted me to, uh, to do that review, so they sent me one. And this is high power version. I'm actually planning of using this one mainly on 12 and 17 meter band because I don't have any antenna on those band. And this one covers 10, 12, 15, 17 and 20 meter band. So pretty interesting. It's a wire antenna and uh, you will have a perfect match, SWR match on each band. So you can adjust it and it's about 10 by 10 feet square. So I will be assembling it in the garage because it's supposed to be raining today outside and it's very warm. It's like with Humidex, it's like something like 40 degrees centigrade, so that's pretty warm. So I'll stay here with the air conditioning. <laughs> so I will start unboxing with you guys and I will do assembling it. And uh, so let's start.
VA2 PV testing. Hola. Hola, VA2 PV. Take a look at the band scope and you will find that it is in fixed mode between 14150 and 14250. As you can see, the, all the bands is closed, but I found this broadcast station that I will use in comparison between the two antenna. Funny how adding years to your life can also add perspective to your years. A child says at four years. My daddy can do anything. At seven years, my dad knows a lot, a whole lot. At eight years, my dad doesn't know quite everything. Twelve years, oh, well, naturally, father doesn't know that either. At 14 years, father, hopelessly old-fashioned. Twenty-one years, oh, that man is out of date. What did you expect? At 25 years of age. Okay, guys. So, too bad, the condition are not very good. I can show you, it is the same here. And it was like that yesterday when I did review the MFJ998. Uh, so, band condition are very terrible. But the cobweb antenna, first of all, after setting it up, uh, I did uh, check it out and SWR was fine. Maybe there, there should be some fine tune, but well, that's okay, but for me, it, it's good like this. And it's performing quite surprisingly. Uh, as I show you, I did compare with my Yagi antenna inside the house at the same time. So, it's very good. So, now I understand why MFG wanted me to review that unit. And they want every YouTuber to review it. It is light, you know, I just carry the tripod with the antenna at the end and just carrying around. And uh, this is a keeper for me, so I will find a room in my uh, backyard for it. And uh, when it did set, when it, it is set up better, I will do some uh, some more testing comparison with the with the Yagi antenna on top of the tower. So for now, hope you did enjoy 73.